you about. can play guitar? I can play the banjo. <laughs> that's sick. That's so that's fucking awesome. Thanks. Sounds so like you want to start recording make a video together where yeah, I could actually teach you the basics of HSM. That would be so fucking cool. But so boring. It's so easy once live. you get the whole like the learning curve is so steep, but then once you like conquer the basics, it just unlocks like so much. <laughs> yeah. And then by the time and then by the time you know it, you're DJing Winston House. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the BB Rexa to your Avicii. Yeah. And that's what's actually gonna happen. We need more white people in the DJ scene. Yeah, I just I don't wanna <laughs> I'd like to continue. Right. Living. Right. Right. You know they call her BB Flopsa. Why? Because <laughs> she flops. Aww. It's terrible. It's terrible. BB Flopsa. What song did she have? What? Look up her Spotify. She's had every fucking club banger since 2009. When I think of like festival DJ sets, it's like BB's the vocal or it's Sia. Or it's Ava Max yeah. or people like Ava that. Max. That's the one I like. I knew, I knew your vibe. <laughs> I caught your vibe. You know she was there. Where at the den after Matt's party? Fucking Ava Max is at the den. No way. And you were <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And I was in an Uber home by myself. You were in an Uber nodding off to sleep because you're 400 years old. Oh my god. You could have met pop legend Ava Max. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. I know. Uh, they, I mean, I don't even know what she really looks like. I guess that's her. I just like her. Like, she keeps coming up with my, like, release radar, and I'm like, oh, yeah. another banger. Another fucking bop. Ava, you really do go to the max. You yeah. Know, I'm not going to. Number three, Sorry. Ava Max. Ava Max. Have you used the, the, have you used the AI uh, DJ? No. On Spotify? <laughs> Dude. What the fuck? It's, they, so they release this AI DJ, and it's like, you click on it, it's like, what's up, Cody? <laughs> It's Xavier, and uh, I got Damn. some good. I got some bangers for you today. Let's take it back to you've been listening to a lot of like cool, you know, EDM from the 2000s. So we're gonna like take it back there for That's a little real? bit. That's real. That's yeah. actually a feature. Yeah. Does it sound computery? Here, I'll show. Or does it sound cool? No, it sounds it. real. That's wild. It's just Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'm X, and from this moment Here, on, I got I'm it. gonna be your own person. Got all the good stuff in store for you today. Coming up first here, let's get into a lineup of music you've been leaning into heavy these days. DJ Khaled on that. No, what? <laughs> what? Wow, Cody. <laughs> so actually, I think there's a ship just flew yeah. by the window. I think it's uh, out the window. Must be broken. I yeah, think <laughs> Spotify is. You know, you gotta work. You guys gotta. Your code's broken. You gotta work Listen on that. To Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Cody, dig into your favorite fuck? musician, R. Kelly. <laughs> Let's dig in. Holy shit. You've been listening to a lot of Chris Brown, Kanye West, and <laughs> R. Kelly recently. So we made up mix. <laughs> Holy shit. DJ Khaled. <laughs> I'm going to play some songs you just keep on listening to. This one from James Hype Up First. Okay. Wasn't quite your vibe today, huh? Okay, let's get into some stuff you played a lot in 2021. See if that Play Bad Bunny. Right. <laughs> now, Play so Bad like, Bunny. Play Kim Petras, Kim Petras, Kim Petras. I really want, like, that's what it should be. You should be able to talk to him. Sure. Like, should Xavier. Yell at him. I'm in the mood for some Bad Bunny. Come on, give me some Bad Bunny. You, like, cosplaying a radio show where you can call in and request a song, but <laughs> that would be Spotify. That would be sick, right? That'd be really great. That would be, I think that would, like, scratch a lot, of, like, an itch that a lot of people have. Yeah. And they, they give away free tickets. He's Imagine like, an AI podcast where you can just talk back to it. <laughs> Friends? <laughs> you're describing having a friend. <laughs> you know what you're talking about? Like exactly. It'd be like it would be like it would be like having a podcast, <laughs> but with no mics. With no mics and no cameras, no and cameras, they talk back to and you. They talk back to you. And you have a good time. Damn. Imagine. Someone should get on that. Yeah. You should get on that. <laughs> yeah. Re Yo, read a fucking book about open that. AI. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe invent that? AI kind of like freaks me the fuck out. Like it's very cool, and my my editor is very he's like my best friend, but he is so deep into the AI stuff. I really can't talk to him about it. Yeah. Um, but he uses it to like write emails and like do this and do that, like the most basic shit. It just makes his life easier. And when ChatGPT's down, he's like, oh, "Try to kill myself." Yeah. And I'm like, just type an email. Yeah. Why is it so difficult? Yeah. No, I mean, like I I now like I was really interested in it, and like I am still am. Mm -hmm. But now I've kind of, now I've graduated past being just interested 
to where I've found a bunch of like crazy doomer content from people that are like right. AI scientists basically being like, we're past the point of no return. Humanity is actually doomed. And like, right. like we're nearing the end because like there's no reversing this anymore. Oh, oh. And AGI will kill all humans 100%. Well, the minute... And that is horrifying. It's horrifying. And also the fact that I see, I've seen this everywhere of like, it's coming for creatives jobs first. Scary. Terrifying. You're not more scared about the fact that we're all going to die? No, I'm upset that I won't have a job <laughs> before I die. <laughs> That's going to just like blow. <laughs> True. Yeah. It's going to suck not to, not to be able to like work on thumbnails and no, titles yeah. anymore. <laughs> Kicking a rope. What am I going to do? I would be so freaking bored. Yeah. I, I agree. It's kind of weird that like AI is replacing creatives. It's weird. I saw this tweet that was like, it's crazy that like 15 years ago you'd have to pay fifty thousand dollars for an app to be made mm. but like you know you could find an electrician pretty fucking easily sure now the way everything's trending like 60 percent of code right now is written with github's ai that is absurd thing it's like almost all like engineers are being replaced first and yet it's going to cost fifty thousand dollars to have someone fix something in your house because yeah. that's going to be the thing that's ultra desired when everything is like thumbnails art every every creative thing and every like trade skill is being replaced by ai there's that tweet that was like not trade skill that stop was making only fans we need plumbers yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. need electricians <laughs> i get it uh, like i i agree that it is horrifying and if you think about it for too long it's like panic attack worthy yeah. but what can we do you nothing know? that's where we're past the point of no return that's so. why i just like Hearing that, it doesn't even phase me because I'm like, girl, yeah, I only got about 40 years left. And I mean, there's also, I think there's also, like, people thought the world was going to end in 2002. Right. And Y2K 2012. and everything. And I even think, like, we're in a position where we're going to figure out climate change and that stuff, too. Okay. I think generally Optimism. people are, like, doomers, but I think, like, I kind of also think that humans figure it out. I love bit. this, like, and that's core core right that there. That is core. That's hope. That core. is core core. That's yeah. hope core. That's the indomitable human spirit core. Optimism, baby. Learn about it. Obsessed with that. What's the um? Not not Sisyphus. Is that his name? The one that pushes the boulder up the hill. You into philosophy? Uh, not really. T. Yeah, I, I feel like you th- should be. What you read? I'll philosophize. About. Sure. Every now and then, yeah. I read. I read a Ryan Holiday book. He's like a stoic. That's philosophy. <laughs> You're like, I read a Ben Shapiro book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's philosophy yeah, he's like right there. Yeah, about stuff. Oh, yeah. Those big fucking eyebrows. <laughs> Go to, yeah, so read the plight of Sisyphus. It is he is doomed to push this rock up the hill, mm-hmm. and he can either feel really fucking bad for himself that he has to do that for the rest of eternity, or he can embrace the absurdity of it and be happy in that absurdity. I love that. And I think that's where we are. We have to find joy and peace in the absurdity of what it is to be alive right now. Yeah. Totally fair. Until we're not anymore, thanks to AI. Yeah, yeah.